Hi friends, my name is Rohan Balachandra. Welcome to today's breaking news where we cover the finance and economic news of the country. News number 1 HDFC Bank receives RBI permission for merger. After receiving approval from NSC and BSC for merger with HDFC, HDFC Bank has received no objection from RBI. As per the merger terms, shareholders of HDFC will receive 42 shares in HDFC Bank for every 25 shares held. The combined entity will have an asset base of around 18 lakh crores. The merger is likely to be completed by the second or third quarter of financial year 2023-24. News number 2 67 IPOs waiting to be launched due to the weak market sentiment around 67 companies have not launched their IPOs in spite of receiving approval from SEBI some of the companies which have received SEBI approval are Farmeasy Go Airlines Asianet Satellite Communications Mobiquick Aadhar Housing Finance etc another 38 companies have filed their documents with SEBI and are waiting for approval News number 3 RBI fines Kotak Mahindra and Indusind Bank RBI fined Kotak Mahindra Bank rupees 1.05 crores for not following its rules with respect to customer protection and loans. Indusind Bank has been fined rupees 1 crore for failing to follow KYC rules. Around 2 weeks back, RBI had fined Indian Overseas Bank rupees 57.5 lakhs for failing to report fraud involving ATM cards cloning. News number 4, Rapid News. Around 25 electric car models expected to be launched in India in the next 15 months. Tata Motors hopes to sell 5 lakh vehicles this financial year including 50000 electric vehicles. Hotels recorded higher occupation rates of 66.1% in June 2022 quarter. In 2019 the occupancy rate was 66% so it has reached pre covid level. Leisure and corporate travel has increased in the last few months. Now moving on to today's stock market update. Nifty fell by 25 points and closed at 15811. Sensex fell by 100 points and closed at 53134. In fact, if you see, it had gone above 16000 today but could not sustain and fell and closed slightly negative. Point number 2, today's top Nifty 50 gainers and losers. Top gainers, Power Grid Corporation 1.64% up, Shree Cements 1.42% up, Indalco 1.4% up, Apollo Hospitals 1.25% up. Top losers ITC 1.71% down, HDFC Life 1.65% down, Wipro 1.59% down, and Britannia 1.18% down. Point number three: Today's top Nifty Next 50 gainers and losers. Top gainers: Avenue Supermart 4.11% up, SBI Cards 3.89% up, Bajaj Holdings 2.71% up, Godrej Consumer 2.37% up. Top losers: SRF. 5.85% down Glan Pharma 2.64% down ICICI Prudential 2.12% down and Bosch 1.91% minus point number 4 advanced decline ratio for NSC 956 stocks went up 958 stocks fell today so 50% up and 50% down point number 5 yesterday's FII and DII investment data foreign institution investors sold shares worth 2150 crores domestic institution investors Bought shares worth thousand six hundred eighty eight crores. Point number six. Today's gold and silver price. Gold price four thousand eight hundred thirteen per gram. Silver sixty four point seven per gram. Point number seven. Today's rupee value. One US dollar seventy nine point three seven rupees. One euro eighty one point six seven rupees. Point number eight. Stocks near fifty two week high. Siemens two thousand five hundred ninety nine fifty two week high. Closing price two thousand five sixty. Point number nine: Stocks near 52-week low. India Bulls Housing Finance 52-week low 90, closing price 92. Wakard 204, 52-week low, closing price 206. Point number ten: Global queues today. Hong Kong markets 0.1% up. Japan 1.03% up. Germany 1.2% down. France 1.38% down. UK 1.28% down. And Nasdaq markets had a holiday yesterday because it was. US Independence Day yesterday. So this was today's breaking news. If this video was good, please click the like button and if this video was good, please type good in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye and all the best.